Hey y'all, Little Drummer Boy here, and today I want to do a book review of John C. Maxwell's How Successful People Think. I first bought this book in, um, actually when I was in rehab at Hope Canyon in San Diego, and uh, well actually I bought it when I was trucking, I bought it at a rest area in Kansas, but I actually started reading it under this big palm tree at Hope Canyon in San Diego, and if you know anybody or if you have addictive issues, that's a wonderful place that can help you out in a beautiful, uh, heavenly location. But anyway, um, so I started reading this book during my daily devotion, and it's taken me a year and a half to read, even though it's only like 121 pages. But <laughs> you have to remember, I, uh, I, do, I read about three or four devotional books at a time in my daily reading. So actually, I'm about to finish about three of them all at once. So anyway, there's John C. Maxwell, How Successful People Think. I give it five stars. It's it's, uh, it's a very good book. And um, let's look at the, uh, as you see, I underline a lot. I want to look at the um, contents. These are the, uh, if I can get it to focus, these are the, um, chapters cultivate big picture thinking engaged and focused thinking harness creative thinking employ realistic thinking utilize st st strategic thinking explore possibility thinking learn from reflective thinking question popular thinking and I think there needs to be a lot of that going on about right now um, benefit from shared thinking Practice unselfish thinking, and that's something I think all of us probably need to practice. Rely on bottom line thinking, and it's a really good book. It's made. It's mostly, um, you know, for it's like mostly for business, um, but it the stuff that he talks about in here will just help out a lot in everyday life as well. And there are tons of great great quotes that I put on Facebook um, from this video. Like, uh, author Napoleon Hill observed, more gold has been mined from the thoughts of men than has ever been taken from the earth. And there's this, I'm trying to read you a few. Um, World War I flying ace, Eddie Rickenbacker said, said it all when he remarked, I can give you a six word formula for success. Think things through, then follow through. And um, there's a quote from President Trump in here somewhere too. Let's see if I can find it. It was pretty early on. It was before he was president. He was you know, just a, a famous businessman, TV star at that time. But he's probably read this book. Here we go. Real estate developer Donald Trump quit, quipped, "You have to think. You have to think anyway. So why not think big?" And you guys that know me personally, you know that I think big. I, I pray for big things. I, um, because if you believe God can do anything, according to His will, then pray big. I mean, um, the sky's the limit. Um, you know, Hebrews 11.1 1 is one of my favorite verses. It says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. So, hey man, if you believe Jesus is God, and I've seen, it, I've seen enough prayers answered to know that he is. If you, uh, if you, and you know, you think about it, um, there is, there are, have been billions of prayers answered for millions of Christians in the last 2,000 years in Jesus name you know we wouldn't Christianity wouldn't have lasted if it didn't work and there's power in the name of Jesus y'all just if you don't believe it try it um, let's see I'll read you a few more anyway this is a quick read I, I could have read it in a day but I really like to study my devotional books and um and john maxwell he's a pastor by the way as well as a best-selling author and teacher um here's a good quote he did each thing as if he did nothing else 
spoken of novelist Charles Dickens. And but it's a good book. You could read it in, in a day easily, but I like I said, I like to study my books through. As you can see, I, I love to mark up my books. And um, and plus I'm studying other books, so I didn't get through this. Oh, and another thing, when I got back from San Diego, which actually John Maxwell used to pastor in San Diego as a Presbyterian church there. And um, uh, one of my one of my recovery coaches out there, Andrew, he uh, was baptized by John Maxwell when he was young. But anyway, um, when I got back from there, you know, I unpacked everything, got, got home from the airport, and everything was like, um, well, I lost the book. I misplaced the book. And then that's one reason it took a year and a half to read. I misplaced it for about a year. Then I found it, and I've just <laughs> finally finishing it. But it hasn't take me, taken me so long to finish it because it sucks or anything. This book is full of, uh, of great uh, knowledge, you know, to be a better thinker, whether you're wanting to be a CEO or just be a better person. Um, inventor Charles Keatering says, All human development, no matter what form it takes, must be outside the rules. Otherwise, we would never have anything new. See, he's got there's so many great quotes like that. And... Um, But anyway, um, I don't want to bore you with flipping pages looking for quotes. But yeah, John Maxwell, How Successful People Think, and any other books. I, I had to read another one of his books in Bible College on leadership. And um, it's, it's it was a great book, too. So any other books you can read by John Maxwell, it's uh, it would be great. And on the back it says, Gather successful people from all walks of life, and what do they have in common? The way they think. Now you can think as they do and revolutionize, revolution, revolutionize your work and life. Hang on, there's a loud V8 pickup truck going by. I live in the country, y'all. <laughs> um, big old Dodge. How successful people think is the perfect compact read for today's fast-paced world. American leadership expert John Maxwell will teach you 11 essential types of thinking showing you how to be more creative, when to question popular thinking, um, like having shutdowns over a, uh, looking at the population over a very rare virus. It blows my mind. I've never seen nothing like this. Anyway, I'm chasing a rabbit. You'll learn how to capture the big picture while focusing your thinking. You'll find out how to tap into your creative potential, develop shared ideas, and derive lessons from the past to better understand the future. With these 11 keys to more effective thinking, you'll clearly see the path to personal success. And um, so, yeah, I give it five stars, y'all. And it's a quick read. I'm probably the only person on the planet that took a year and a half to read this book. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you'll have a blessed day. Stay safe out there. Pray for me, and I'll pray for you. God bless. Peace.